Welcome back. We're going to talk about how to find some of these diagonal lengths in a kite. We just talked about how to find the outside lengths, but how do I find the inside lengths? Well, what if I told you, and I'm going to name that point in the middle there, I'm going to name that N. So what if I told you that NL was 7 and this was 25 and I want to find all the other side lengths in the kite. So maybe NL is 7, ML would be 25 and uh, let's see maybe I give you that this whole segment is 30. So I'll give you that. I'll give you that KM is 30. Well, the really important thing here is to identify what we know about those diagonals of a kite. We know the, uh, the long sides are congruent, the short sides are congruent, so this would be 25 as well, JM. We know the short sides are congruent. Uh, I know this would be 7 as well, that diagonal length. Uh, and we'll get to Y later. So I know that these are congruent. But most importantly, I know that this angle in the middle, and all four of these, because by definition, the kite has perpendicular diagonals. So those are all four right angles. Well, what does that let me do? It lets me take these kites. I'm going to move this around. I'm going to move this over here. It lets me to take these kites and now I can split these kites up into four different right triangles which helps immensely because we can use our knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem. So this is 7, this is 24, sorry, 25. And what you can do is you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find your third side. So 7 squared plus x squared equals 25 squared. And you can pause the video, come back, unpause, and check your work. So you should get 24. So I have a 24 in the middle. And I gave you earlier, if you recall, that this whole segment KM was 30. So from there, of course, I could just repeat the process. I'm going to give you a slightly different problem here. Again, think Pythagorean theorem because these are all right triangles. You got four of them in there. Okay, so what if I said JK was 8. So think about what you know about these outer sides, what else would be 8? And if I said this was mm, 3, you're going to get a decimal. And I want to find this length kn. Well, why don't you set up the problem, solve for that missing side length of kn, and then come back and check your work. So by now you should have solved it. I've got 8 and 3, and I would have x over here. Use my Pythagorean theorem, and that side, kn, would be the square root of 55. 